Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Okay, I'm Leela Ramdeen from the, the Caribbean island of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm a member of the, the group called the Greater Caribbean for Life. I'm also the chair of the Catholic Commission for Social Justice and I'm an attorney at law. Um, what did you think of that debate? I thought the debate went really well um, and it shows really that a lot of people are aware of issues relating to the Caribbean. I thought we'd be telling people things they didn't know, but quite a few people had worked in the Caribbean and are aware of the challenges that we face. So one of the good things is that we speak to like-minded people, everybody's on board and this, at this Congress and that really cheers, is cheering to know that. Um, why are you so involved in this cause? I think, I think ever since I, I was small, I, they, they, my parents tell me I've always fought for justice. So I lived in England for 35 years, fighting. I was co-chair with the Mayor of London, former Mayor Ken Livingston of Britain's Anti-Racist Alliance. I've always been involved in justice fights. I was chair of Cardinal Hume's Committee for the Caribbean Community. And now I've gone back to Trinidad to live, Trinidad and Tobago, and I find there's so many injustices there. You know, we, I'm just talking to a, a Quaker lady, the, the, the death penalty has major impact on children both the children of the victims and the children of, of, of those who have been convicted. And we need to look at those issues when we're trying to change hearts and minds. Because to change hearts and minds, we have to look at the reality. How does it affect just hanging people is not going to help us to, to change um, hearts of people, to, to reduce crime, it's not going to help us build a just society, and it's not going to help us address the root causes of crime. And so we need to look at the risk factors that cause people to commit crime and address those rather than constantly bay for blood and ask for, you know, for the hangman to come out and hang people. And that quite often is used by politicians as a way to, to detract from, this, distract people from the fact that they, their strategies are not working. So when their crime strategies are not working, the way to pacify the public is to say we're going to hang them. We're going to hang. In fact, some of our politicians have said recently Recently, if they've changed the constitution, uh, they have to change the constitution because of the Pratt and Morgan um, 1993 case, saying that if you are on death row for more than five years, you're, you're, you have to be commuted to life sentence. You can't hang um, the people. And, and some politicians have said we're going to hang everybody on death row. And the, the thought of that in the public's mind, we just violence just begets violence, and we don't want. We need to move away from that. So it's good to know that people are coming up with lots of new strategies that we can employ and we need to network and, and this Congress gives us an opportunity to network effectively. Thank you very much. Thank you.